What's going on Irish fans? Welcome back to third from last regular season game preview. Uh, Notre Dame later today in about three and a half hours is going to go to Wake Forest and play a uh, big game. Uh, Wake Forest coming off a giant win at Duke. Um, but their record's 12-15, and 15 and we beat them by 10 last time, 90-80. to 80. Um, ESPN's giving Notre Dame a 51% chance to win this game. Uh, should be a good one. Wake Forest, pretty decent team. Well, they beat Duke, and you saw what Duke did to us. Even if they're on a losing streak, still a really good team. Um, right now, we're 18-10. and 10. We have an outside chance at the tournament, a good chance if we can... Uh, win the rest of our games and win a couple in the ACC tournament. Um, yeah, we're coming off a tight win at BC. Uh, thank you, TJ Gibbs, for hitting that shot. We're still in it now. That was huge. That was one of my favorite uh, shots of the season. Uh, pretty frustrating game. They couldn't get it going the entire game, but BC is not that good of a team. Um, so somehow they pulled it out. It shows you how resilient this team is. Uh, with the run they made. Um, so we got three games left. We got Wake, FSU, I think Wednesday. And we have, um, what's it called? Virginia Tech at Notre Dame on senior night. Um, so those are all winnable games. FSU is the least winnable, and we only lost them by one. Uh, but, yeah, Wake's coming off that win at Duke. Uh, they're led in scoring by Brandon Childress. Um, in, at Duke, they had Oliver Sarr go off, Shondre Brown, Amber and Childress all had really good games. Um, so, yeah, they have a lot of length, uh, a lot of height. They have a seven-footer in Oliver Saar. Um, they create a lot of matchup problems, uh, as you saw in the last game. It seems like even when they had contested threes, some of them were going in. Um, so they're definitely a good team. Uh, hopefully we can get the better of them again at Wake, not at Notre Dame. Um, offensive emphasis for me, the first one is going to be create open looks for Dane Goodwin. So they did a really good job of this the first time they played Wake. And if they can pull this off again, uh, I think... Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm tired. I think they can get a big win. And if Dane Goodwin can be as consistent as he was at times earlier in the year and he doesn't disappear. Um, I think those open looks are gonna create a lot of points for us. My second one is move away from the ball. It seems like a lot of time they'll uh, play really far up on guys when they play man. And we got a lot of points last time when we cut to the basket, specifically like Mooney, Dane, um, Rex, I think, maybe. Um, but yeah, and then three, is to don't turn it over. Wake Forest has a lot of, um, they have a lot of length, uh, some pretty aggressive guys. Uh, so if we can not turn the ball over, which we haven't done a great job of lately, but we did a good job last time we played them, I think we're set. My leading scorer is gonna be Prentice Hub. I don't know why I have a good feeling about him today though, but normally when I have a good feeling about Prentice Hub, I'm wrong. And when I doubt him, he does great. But I don't know. I don't really love their guards, so I think he can do a pretty good job on them. My matchup to watch is going to be Brandon Childress versus Prentice Hub, maybe TJ Gibbs in there. Um, Brandon Childress is probably their best player. Um, actually, probably more than probably. He's their best player, and like I said, Hub might need to have a big game today. I think he will. Um, so that's my match. Down to my defensive keys. Um, my first one's going to be really f get physical down low. Don't let Oliver Saar get easy baskets. Um, he's done that a lot. Um, he's a seven footer. You got to make it hard on him. Mooney, Durham, got to get physical. Maybe foul a couple times. Um, just don't let him get easy baskets. Don't let him think that he can get easy baskets. My second one is get them to turn the ball over. We won the turnover battle by six last time we played them. They had 13 turnovers. We had seven. Um, so I think we need to win the turnover battle again and just keep doing that kind of stuff that Mike Bray preaches. Um, yeah, we need to win that game, win the turnover battle. 
Uh, Wake doesn't do a great job at that, but 13 turnovers still isn't terrible. Um, and my third one is close out on threes. This team can be really dangerous from three. Um, even when we closed out, a lot of the time they were still hitting crazy threes on us last game. Um, they shot 35%. Uh, we also need to win that matchup. They shot 35, we shot 38% last time. So that's going to be crucial. And last game, they, um, they beat us in the rebounding battle. So maybe it's not as important against them. Um, but it's always pretty important. Uh, relating to rebounds and down low and stuff, my player to lose sleep over isn't going to be their best player. It's going to be Oliver Saar. I think we've seen a lot of guys like Brandon Childress, and they haven't really done that much on us. Uh, they haven't ruined our season. Um, so I'm going to go Oliver Saar. He's a seven-foot junior from France. He's an NBA draft prospect. Uh, a lot of people think he'll get drafted. I don't know that much about him. I don't know if he'll get drafted, but he's averaging 12 a game, eight rebounds, 1.2 blocks, and he's shooting 50% from the field. Uh, pretty decent stats for a seven footer. Um, he's pretty good down low. Uh, he did pretty well against us last game. I think he had 18 points. Uh, seven footers just always scare me, especially when they put up production like that. Uh, I would think Jawan Durham's going to be in the game a lot to combat that because when we played them the first time, Nate Lucheski was on him, Mooney was on him. They couldn't really do anything. Uh, Durham's height's going to really help in that situation. My prediction is. Uh, Notre Dame's going to win 84-82. to 82. There wasn't much defense in the last game. And uh, what's, I think Notre Dame's going to fall behind early, but we'll come back. Just like BC, I think they're going to come out a little tired because that was such like a nerve-wracking game. But we'll see. Hopefully they can win this and make Wednesday against Florida State um, meaningful. So thank you guys for watching. Go Irish. Peace.